Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just Yellow, and today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer is gonna make a video here. Uh, it's gonna be about something that uh, most of you people have probably not uh, gone into, I would imagine. So, um, if you play CSGO and you uh, you want to get better ping, maybe you're struggling with terrible ping, etc. Um, whatever the reason might be, I'm going to, uh, in this video right here, try and explain to you how ping and matchmaking and also how servers work and stuff like that. And infinitely, it will give you a better understanding of when you should play, how you can like improve your ping, etc. Uh, so keep in mind, this is like uh, not just based on a lot of uh, just uh, troubleshooting, but also a little bit of uh, you know research, but also a lot of self-experience because depending on what game you play uh, and at what time of day, it do matter a lot in terms of how uh, kind of you know what, what kind of ping you get. So with this being said. Let's say that you want to play CSGO, you are struggling with a variable ping and you want to be able to make the most out of things. So first thing first is that you should try and make sure that there is nothing on your PC running that might use the internet. So closing all those programs will be a good start. Uh, you should keep uh, on, for, you know, go on from there on to check if anybody else in the house, for example, is actually using the internet connection. You know, these are just basics, obviously. Uh, but uh, I've been cursed by those kind of things in the past. So from there on out. Another thing that you can do is to play in the middle of the day, and the reason for this is because what I want to use this here as a table, or as rather as a paper sheet, I want to use this for. So, let's say that that is you, that is where you live in the world, in your country, and depending on time of day, there will be more people online, you know, like maybe in the middle of the night, like three other people are live, uh, uh, you know, aside from you, because you are, you know, you, you took Thursday off, you know. Um, if you then are playing, for example, Call of Duty, now you people, there's a big chance that you will be in the same lobby. Not because of, you know, random reasons, but rather because you're the only people around. Um, so let's say that you are then playing CSGO. If there's like a set server right here, these two people are now going to get a shitty ping because they're so so far away from the server. Rather than the server right there, you know, that one is now going to get a more even kind of ping towards more people than that server. So that one is now going to get favorable over that one and thus you. You weren't getting that affected, but in some cases, you might be that guy instead, you know? So instead of now getting a really shitty ping uh, and only two players, you get an even worse ping and you get to play with three other players, including you. So what we can take from this is that playing in the middle of the day or playing in the weekend, during the weekend, where there are more people online, uh, that will really help you so much in terms of just getting a better matchmaking ping. Um, there are also other things that you can do, and I'll show it right now, okay? So if you go on Escape, you click Help and Options, you go on your... Uh, your game settings, all the way at the top here, you can set max acceptable matchmaking ping. Setting this one to 50 and waiting longer towards getting a lobby, it will help you so much more. The problem though is that in terms of uh, geographical ge uh, placements and shit like that, you can't really queue too far away from your country. This is very helpful if you, for example, uh, can't cooperate with Russian people or people of other countries in which you do not speak the language at and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Still, if you just want to be able to get the best game possible, maybe you're sol solo queuing, etc. It's gonna help you out so much more in the length because you now get a more spot on registering of bullets, etc. Um, yeah, okay, so other alternate ways you, ways you can change a ping though, I'll just show you people so you know. So you can dr pull this little slider right here, 350 is max, 50 is minimum, but what you also can do is to go on game settings, uh, enable your developer console, and when you've done that you can go on the keyboard and mouse and scroll all the way down to the bottom and assign some kind of toggle key that you are not using. Uh, the one that is to the left of my number one key is the one that I'm using for it. I can just show you here, that's, like, this is the one I'm using. It's to the left of my one key. This is obviously my one key, so... Um, yeah, whatever, whatever the hell you set it at, that's cool. Uh, as long as you can use it. Now when, you, when you've when you used it, when, it, when you click it, you'll get this crap right up right here. I just click MM, and then I click the down arrow five times. Um, I'll get the, um, let's see, search max ping, yeah. The, the matchmaking dedicated search max ping. Now I can type in manually the ping. So if you're, for example, in the lobby, you can switch it on the go. So, um, yeah. Uh, what else things and stuffs is there that we can go through in terms of increasing your ping? I, I guess I could go through the theory of copper versus fiber. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. But let's, let's pretend that we got two wires from here to here and here to here. Okay. And and the top one uh, is gonna be fiber, okay? So the one on the top right here, that's fiber. And the one at the bottom right here, that's copper, okay? So the differences in between both of the connections is that 
signals that move through fiber, it's legitimately a light signal moving through a piece of glass. It's an amazing technology and the benefit is that it gets sent th through the line by the speed of light. What this means is that the instant transmission is fucking instant. As instant as the machine right here that's working with the signal and here that is capturing, capturing the signal and sending signal, for example, they are only gonna be the bottleneck. As for copper, uh, shit is incredibly slow. That's because it's moving by electric Electric, uh, electricic, uh, electricity. I'm Norwegian, I fuck up English. Blah, blah. So what we can take from that is that if you're now sitting on a copper connection, not only do you have the receiving and sending a delay of both ends from you to the server, the server to you, and any loops it goes through, but the time spent by sending it through the cables is actually even slower. Not to mention it's less optimized as well, because it's a fucking, you know, electric wire. So that being said, um, if you then are in this kind of mess of players and maybe there's like a lot of people on during the night and day, just having fiber will overall increase your experience, which is why I just wanna, when I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go for fiber. So what we can learn from this is that, you know, it's a little bit more advanced than what you would think. And luckily enough though, as far as I know, the servers of Valve, they are actually set servers. What that means is that they're not like make, uh, they're just not made on top of the fucking, you know, like you're not turning into the host as a person like you're not becoming the star host of the server if you want to play as happens with a lot of console games and uh, older Call of Duty games on the PC instead uh, th the server will always be the server or maybe the cluster in which if you then are playing uh, let's say that you're playing in America for example and for some weird reason Everybody else except you have electricity and internet. Now, if you want to connect to a server, you are going to be forced over to that cluster that is maybe in a Europe close to the coast. So, yeah, hopefully you learned something from this video and hopefully I taught you something about getting better matchmaking ping. Uh, the benefits will be that your hit registration won't be as bullshitty. Um, it won't be uh, as uh, just annoying and other things for example also is that if you're then playing a uh, 128 tick and your internet connection is not that stable as you would like it to be n now it's at least gonna be a little bit more recent um, the chance for packets lost uh, that is sent during the transmission all the fucking time because that's how signals sent through cables work uh, it won't be as jittery or as fucked with as well so yeah hopefully you learned something these are just the basics going into further details seems more than more than a waste because you know only the, the uh, theoretics is what uh, you people and me get the use for so if you enjoy this video and if you want more people to see it and if you want to support everybody else who enjoy this youtube channel uh, you can go down in the description and look through there a lot of the those things are incredibly helpful for the channel. So anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, my nickname is just Yellow, and if you want to watch on other, you know, a lot of other videos that will teach you how to get better at CSGO, feel free. So have a nice day, and don't get peace to find when you play.